Praise God, praise God, praise God. Dr. Baysmore here with another prophetic message of encouragement. I'm coming to you once again from Colossians 3, 1. If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ is, sitting at the right hand of God. Verse 2. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. And I am here to remind you that we need to have our focus on the eternal realities of heaven. That there are spiritual heavenly portals that exist which God has positioned throughout the earth and I believe that in the coming months July August and September that the Lord is going to be providing us with strategies to prepare for the future for that which is ahead and so I'm here to remind you and encourage you that God is sovereign and that his plans always give us the victory. So as you are preparing in the months of July, August, and September, even though there will be people around you who are beginning to relax and beginning to go back to that which they have been used to, you are reminded that we prepare for the winter in the summer. We prepare before. We prepare in the summer for the winter. And I'm speaking of those seasons spiritually. And so the Lord is giving us this time to prepare. He is going to be giving you strategies that will prepare you in your spirit, your soul, and your body. He has divine knowledge and understanding and wisdom that is available for us. He is teaching us his ways. And as these spiritual portals that exist open at the appointed times in the earth realm, he says, remember that that which can be seen is temporal. That which cannot be seen is eternal. And so we keep our minds focused on the things which are above. And we set our mind on these things and not on the things of the earth. That when we focus on the eternal realities of heaven, we have peace that surpasses all understanding. We are able to minister to those who are in our sphere of influence and be used by God as his instruments of love and of help and of healing. And so as we move into and transition into this season, July, August, and September in the earth realm, as you receive the prosperity, the blessings of God, seek him for wisdom as to how you are to steward that which he is entrusting to you at this time. Seek the Lord. Find your solutions and your answers in his word and by the Holy Spirit's revelation as he leads and guides into all truth. I am encouraging you that God is still on his throne. And that even though there is darkness in the world, we have the light of Christ. And the light of Christ is able to allow us to see past the illusion of that which the physical senses are able to discern and for us to see the truth that sets us free in our spirits, our souls, and our bodies. 
And so you be encouraged in this season that God is with you, that God has a plan for you and he is protecting you and that he knows the way that you take and he is able to bring you out. He is able to keep you and he will never leave you nor forsake you. And that this is a time where there is so much momentum in the spirit realm that as you are even feeling that you are out of balance, that God is bringing all things back into Christ-centeredness so that you have the alignment of your spirit, your soul, and your body. And that this atmospheric pressure that you are sensing is necessary to get us to the place where God is taking us. And so my brothers and my sisters in Christ know that what you are experiencing is going to take you to the other side. Hold on. Be encouraged. Know that God is with you. And when you get to the other side, you will not even remember what it took to get you to where you are. God is with us. Stay in the word. Stay in prayer. Stay in obedience. Stay in love. Stay in faith and believe because what you cannot see is more real than that which you can see. To God be the glory for what he is doing in the earth realm to prepare us for what he has on the other side of this. So for those of you who have reached out to me for prayer, I am keeping you lifted in prayer and I want you to speak into manifestation that which God has promised you.